Trenchtown in Kingston, Jamaica is often depicted as a place of danger, violence, despair, and anger. In fact, it's said to be the most dangerous place to visit. Department raising its travel alert for Jamaica. The number of people in Jamaica since the start of the year has surpassed 1,000. Attacks can happen anywhere, even at restaurants or shopping malls. This vibrant community is usually painted unfairly with a broad brush of negativity. Today, I'm intrigued and I invite you to join me on a journey of discovering the truth. Let's peel back layer by layer so as to understand what Trenchtown is really about. I want you to imagine a coloscope. One side is going to contract the vibrant beauty of Trenchtown and the other side is going to reveal the side and the shades of Madari Islam. Well, Madari is also depicted as one of the most dangerous places to visit in Nairobi, Kenya. These two places might be very, very different, but very similar. So let's embark on this journey and understand these two different places. So at this exact moment, I was just looking at Jamaica and admiring the beauty of Jamaica. My heart was so full. I was just like, yeah, yeah, mama, I'm in Jamaica. I finally, finally, finally made it to Jamaica, man. Dreams really do come true. I say this as a joke, guys, take me to 120,000 subscribers and I'll come to Jamaica. And you guys did. You guys have supported me so much. You guys have been there for me every step of the way. I had to leave my baby behind and come and explore and experience Jamaica. I could not believe it. Last year, if somebody was to tell me that this year I would be in Jamaica by this time, I would probably smack them on the face. Because what on earth would I be doing in Jamaica? I had no plans to come and visit Jamaica. But here I was today, ready to brave it all and explore this amazing, amazing island. Here I was today in the Caribbean. Here I was trying to conquer the world one step at a time. Thank you so much for my Jamaican fans. May you never lack anything, man. Welcome to Jamaica. another video in trench town i am naturally a very social person and upon arriving to trench town one of the things that was very easy for me to do was interact people were very friendly and they were willing to interact freely and just dance and make you feel at home trench town rock we brought you so trench town rock hey, you know trench town rock Jam Rock City is calling. I have got to be there. Jam Rock City is calling. I have got to be there. Jam Rock City is calling. I have got to be there. Welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. We also got a chance to visit the new Kingston. Man, these are some of the things that the media works really hard to hide and to never show. Look at us dancing like free birds. Amazing. And we also got a chance to try the corn and got a ride from the local. It was like a dream come true. Man, how many times do you see this 
on social media. And after seeing this, I decided that I was going to go to the market with one of the locals. All right, so this is coronation market. We passed by the market. Yeah. Yes, we are now inside by in the market. What is this? This is not me. Is it nuts? Not milk. Not milk. Okay, not milk. Okay. Pimento. Yeah, I know it. I know it. So we are inside the market, and this market is very close to Trenchtown, isn't it? Yeah, or is right. it still in Trenchtown? Yeah. It's, it's still part of Trenchtown. No, this is downtown. What is this? I see it. Okay. Okay. It's different. Yeah. It's a different seasoning, guys. Yeah. I just want to pass through the market and see how the thing goes. Okay, do you know us? We don't have this one. We don't have this scallion. Yes, we have a different one. It's called, I think, spring onion. Yeah. No, thank you, ma'am. Okay, and this is sweet melon. You try to say sweet melon. Why is it so green? Okay, yeah, because no. Um, the one that we have back at home, let me show you. The one that we have back at home is this. Looks. This cucumber. No, I'm saying the melon that we have is so green. Okay, it's also almost like that. So I think maybe it's just a difference. Yeah. So this market is not so full. I don't know why. Full. Yeah. Yeah, like full, like like um, so many people. Maybe it's because it's still very early or what? At what time do they come to the market? Yeah. But at what time do they come at the market? Because it's, it's about 10. Yeah, it's when you come Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then more. Okay. So let's people come today, it's Monday. Okay. So Saturday, I'm going Saturday. Okay. And just have to come home. Okay. You want some scallion? Yeah. It's so many. Yeah. She's some of where we detention. Okay. She's what? Detention. Okay. Yeah. And banana. Do you know how we call banana. this one? What do you call it? Matoke. Matoke. No, let me hear you say. Matoke. matoke. Yes, matoke. Or nizi. 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 It's easy. Yeah. It's easy. <laughs> okay. So guys, let me know how you can call banana in your language. Yeah. yeah. Banana. So you just say banana? Yeah, banana. 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 But that is an English word. Banana. There's no word for banana in Pato. No, it's just yes, banana. Banana. Yes, banana. Okay. Banana. And this one? In pepper. Patua? In Patua? Pepper. Pepper. I'm gonna say pepper. As we say pili pili. So what you call pepe? Pepe. pepe. <laughs> yes? What is the word? Pepe. pepe. Okay, how how how, how we, we, we call it? Pili pili. Pili pili. Yes. Pili pili. Pili pili. That's a Kenyan. Swahili. Yeah. We're going back out so we don't let them get to us, right? Yeah. So guys, we are heading back out. We just wanted to pass by and see the market. Yeah. Okay. The market is relatively big, though. As by this time, it's really full. It's really full. Pumpkin. Cabbage. See, you have garlic. Garlic. Ginger. Ginger. Yum. Yum. And sweet potato. <laughs> wow. Garlic, garlic. And this is okra? I used to think that when, when plantain is, is black like this, it's spoiled. It's right. Let me teach you something we do in Africa. Like this. Ha. Ha. And the third one. <laughs> so let's do it again. One, two, 
three wagwan. <laughs> Let me ask you, yeah. when I see plantain like this, I used to think it's spoiled. Then it's when spoiled. it's black. Then sweet. Then sweet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you can eat it like that without yeah. cooking? Yes. Or you have to cook it? No, you have to cook it. Wow. And you fry, you can fry, you can <laughs> boil it. Yes, boil? Yeah, you can get yeah, a boiled plantain. No! Yes, I've, I've fried it before, but yeah, boiling, boiling, no, I haven't yes. boiled Some it before. Oh, okay, now I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They put it in the beans, beans right? Yeah, beans. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've tried that yeah, before. Yeah. yeah, this is really, really good. Okay, let's look around and come back. Okay, don't forget our greeting. All right. One, two, yeah. three, wagon. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Oh, interacting with people is one of my favorite things to do, man. Just seeing people smile and just, it's a... It's a beautiful feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it's a joy. Yeah, it's a joy. So it's not bad. So these are the public means of transport. And this is yellowish here. But when I went to Ochi, I realized this is blue. No, this is what I'm saying. You see this yellow line? This one. The one in Ochi. I realized that it's blue. So that's the way you set them apart? Okay. Different area, different okay, area. different area, different means. In Kenya, our public transports look like this, okay? This is exactly how they look like. And then we have like the yellow stuff but over here. But here, this is the public transport. So imagine, I used to think it's a taxi, but as, as you go, it collects people on the road. Wow. Wow, go on. amazing, amazing stuff. So we are going to go back. You've started the car and I've not even entered. I would leave. <laughs> you want to leave me? You're not leaving me. Let me put my seatbelt on. Where you kiss Okay. Yes. Okay, they don't like it? Okay. Why? So, as a vlogger, one of the things that I enjoy doing, obviously, is taking videos. But this local asked me to not take videos of this particular area and said they just don't like video. And for that, I had to be very discreet and take the videos from the car. <laughs> you guys have really beautiful places. Yeah, and it's so clean. I'm from Kenya. Yeah, in Africa. Have you ever been to Kenya? No. So is it Kenya looking like Jamaica? Mm, yes, a, there, there are some places that look like Jamaica, but there are some places that are a little bit different. Like you see in Kenya, uh, let's say a trench town in Kenya, or maybe a ghetto in Kenya, does not look like this. We, this place is actually very pretty. It's so beautiful. This is still trench town? Yeah. Wow. There? Okay, so this is not part of the ghetto now? No way! Wow. You have like the most beautiful ghetto. Ooh. Wow, the roads are so clean. And I don't also see like a lot of people on the road. Is it because it's hot? Okay. Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, so like, like in the evening, mm -hmm. then you see everyone. Okay. Okay, another thing about uh, Trenchtown is it's very clean, guys. There is a um, designated area for, for rubbish. You guys can see over there the blue ones outside just waiting to be collected and put in one place, right? So the trash vehicle is here. What's the, what's the, the, the yeah, trash truck? Yeah. Okay. So the trash truck is here, guys, and it's a celebration here. This is how they keep the whole place really, really clean. I don't know if you had the hooting. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Asking everybody to bring out their trash. Wow. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you're African. Yeah, I'm African. I'm from Kenya. 
And I'm uh, from Jamaica, okay? Listen, Jamaica. So what's your name? Eh? Sean, my name. Sean? Yeah. Me too. Me? Mm. How, how do you spell your name? S H A. Oh, no me, black. mine is S H O. Okay. Yeah. Nice yes, to meet you guys, nice eh? to meet you too. Yeah. How many times you come co collect the, the rubbish? Every day. Every, every day? Yeah, every day. I'm here too. Okay. Okay, here it's only two times a week. Okay, yeah. so where do you take we'll them? Every, every community. Every community? Yeah, wow. 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 It's so big. Ten? Yeah. Wow. So this is how it's done here. Jamaica. Jamaica. In Jamaica. In Jamaica. Bob Mali country. Bob Mali country. <laughs> In Town, yeah. Yeah, Trench Town, Jamaica. Yeah. Making sure that everything is clean. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I finally came to understand that Trench Town is a community that is very, very strong. It's vibrant with a strong sense of community and spirit resilience. The neighborhood has faced a lot of challenges. However, they have grown stronger and stronger. Another thing that is very common in Trenchtown is the art. It's almost like these people speak through art and express themselves through music. Well, Trenchtown is a place of contrast where hardship and struggles exist but also there's a lot of creativity and talent it is a complex and yet dynamic community that continues to aspire and captivate people around the world later on i met some local who i decided to give an african name that goes by otis who took me around and showed me some of the things that the media does not show about trench town Frenchtown, there's different streets, so this is the lower first street, then there's the, like the second and the third, so every, every, more like a corner, every corner, there's a different name for it, and you find different histories, everyone, every street has a legend, right, has different legends, so they write different names for different people who are legends, so for the legends of the street, first street here, Bob Marley, Barney Whaler, Peter Tosh, One Love, people get ready and then they give you a little history of the town and what it is known for and of course they never miss to appreciate the African countries. Look at the whole African map. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I've learned that Jamaicans really love Africans. It's amazing, man. It amazes me how much they love and support Africans. Because at times we'll just be walking and we'll be seeing African flag, uh, sorry, African map, African as we drawn, different countries being appreciated. Amazing, man. Let's keep going. Honey, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How's your night? All right. Eh? Yeah, I'm good. You're good? How was your night? It's very good. Okay. Give God thanks. We to see this morning. Yeah. Go yeah. Let, oh, let me put this one here. I have actually enjoyed my stay in Trenchtown so much that most of the people already know me, right? Yeah. Yeah. When they see me, they just come and say, "I remember your name." I don't know if you remember mine. If you don't remember mine, I'm not paying. Empress Hour. Empress Hour. Bernard. 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 Empress Hour. Mm -hmm. I also remember something. May I speak Patwa, you know? Yeah. You remember you taught me that? May I speak Patwa? Yeah. No, you told me, me I, now me, I speak Patwa. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. 
How do I say it? May I speak Patois you now? Okay. <laughs> okay, how do I say it? May I speak Patois you now? But that's what I've been saying. May I speak Patois you now? Right. Yeah, but, but why were you looking at me as if I, I didn't get no, it? No, I don't understand. Okay, maybe it's because yeah. I speak really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something that I've also gotten in the comment section, guys saying I speak fast. But that's a Kenyan thing. Yeah. Kenyans speak generally fast. And before somebody goes like, but B, D speaks a little slower. I want you guys to understand that Kenya has 47, 48 tribes. And different tribes speak different differently. Language. Yeah, in different language. So where I come from, we speak relatively fast. So it's a, it's a normal thing. And also, I was born and raised in the city. And you know if you are in the city, you, it's a survival for the fittest. Mm. So you cannot be saying, oh, hi, guys. By the time you finish, somebody else will have already passed and say, hi, guys, how is everybody doing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, oh God, oh God. Yes, what do you think? May I speak Pataina? Or, or I should say it slower. May I speak Pataina? May I speak Pataina? No, 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 don't go to that. May I speak Pataina? May I speak Pataina? That's it. But how do I tell her? How was your morning? How you, no, how was your night? How do I tell her that? Huh? What are you asking? I'm asking Bernard, how do I tell you how was your night? Hello, no? Yeah, my night is beautiful. Bernard, how do I ask her that? Apart what she wants you to tell her, you know. Apart what she wants you to tell her, you know. I'm Patwa. Yeah. In case we speak Patwa. May I speak Patwa, you know? May I speak Patwa? Yeah. Yeah, may I speak Patwa, you know? Yeah. So she wants you to talk and Yeah. But Mr. Afsia, I'll tell her, I'll tell her you look well. Yeah. Yeah, driver, support me. See me every day. Yeah, driver, support her. Uh, wait some percent now. How do I say, how was your night? May I say, how oh, was your night? How was your night? But that's, that just sounds so much like English. And you know what? I learned yesterday one something that the whole of Caribbean yeah. speak. No, not Caribbean. So the whole of, of Jamaica speak Patwa. Like Patwa is the only language in English. Is that true? Patois, yeah. from English. Yeah, no, like your your national language is Patwa, and that's what everyone speaks. Like I'm saying, Jamaica dialect is Patwa. Yes, yes. It's only Patwa. Okay, mm. let me explain this. I told you in Kenya we speak 48 languages. We speak two languages out here, English you and Patwa. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah. other than English, it's only Patwa. Right. So now every person in Jamaica. Cannot speak. Okay, how do I explain this for you to, uh, to understand? What's the Chinese speaking language? Huh? Chinese speak Chinese language and Chinese here <laughs> and I'm speaking them language. May I speak Patois, you know? Yeah. Speak <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, for example, today, if if I was in Kenya and I'm here and D is here yeah. and somebody else is here, yeah. I will I might I will speak Luo and D will not understand at all. D will speak Korea and I will not get what she's saying. Korea? Yes, D speaks Korea. She's Korea. Korea. Yes. Another so person. Korea is an African language? Kenyan. Kenyan language? Yes, Korea. Kenyan language. Korea. Korea. D is from Korea. I'm from Luo. Okay. So D and I don't speak the same language. Okay. okay? So if somebody. You can understand it when you speak. No. Not unless she, she tries to learn the language. But otherwise, it's a totally foreign language right. to her. And then if somebody else was supposed to speak Kikuyu, I will not get it, D will not get it. Yeah. But that's not the case in Jamaica. Yeah. Jamaica it's Patwa. Yeah. So if you're speaking Patwa, the next person will understand you. Yeah. So you cannot like talk about somebody else. They will know what you're saying. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I get it. But did you get what I was trying to explain? <laughs> when the child man speaks, we don't understand. <laughs> I'm not talking about Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> but if Lika talk, me understand. Me talk, she understand. If she speak Patwa, mm. me understand. If she speak English, me understand. So, madam. Alright guys, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is fine. And as promised, 
We flew all the way from Kingston, Jamaica to Nairobi City and today we are in Madare Valley. So the first thing that I want you guys to see is how the Madare Valley um, looks like. This is what we call a ghetto, a slum or I don't know how you guys call them in Jamaica. Is it terraces or t something? I've forgotten the exact name. But this is where most people call Home. So without any, without wasting your time, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, all right, so right here we have a cannot wind. You know, these days I shoot by myself. So eh? when I need you, I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah, okay. So right now, this is um, where most people call home, and as you guys can see, there is a school right there, and it rained. Nairobi has been experiencing very, very heavy rains, and it rained, and the drainage system is really, really bad. So this is literally in front of a school. Kids have to jump over as they go to school. This is the situation of the things. Look at it. But the funniest part is they are literally enjoying themselves. I'm going to show you that in a bit. Because most of them even get happier when it rains. Because now they are even able to jump inside and play and scream. Look, look what's going on. Look at this. Look at this. Una tega? Una do? Hmm? Ah ah, mi nangalia tu. So, sasa, say my hi. Hi. Na wewe? Hi. Na wewe? Hi. So, I don't know if you guys can see the other boy. Yes. Ebu ni kuone. Awo go pi wewe. Mutadungwa. So this is what I was trying to explain to them. It's a chance to play and have fun and just almost swim. Because to some extent there are people who swim. Atileoni. Ah, wapi apa? We wacha. Kuna wale wanakuja kucheza ukundani. Hey, I'm yeah. oh. So what he's technically telling me is today is a good day. They're going to be able to swim. They're going to be able to, to do, do. He's saying Maisha London. That's what you Maisha in London. <laughs> that really means that today life is in London. Today is a good day. They're getting a chance to swim. Swimming pool has been brought home. Where are you? You see, Gonge Manzako Namaji. So I'm just scolding the other one for trying to pour dirty water on the other guy. But who knows? Maybe even the one. We go Indian Ocean. Allah, la la. Even the one in Gakwa do film paro. So technically, that is the situation. It's a it's a little sad that that was the first thing we had to come across while showing you guys some of the major differences this is something that i didn't experience in jamaica let me know in the comment section if it rains does it ever look like this or are the drainage system a, li a little better because for us here this is the situation So this is how everything looks like. What do you guys think about this situation? And um, at times kids have to cross over because this right here is a church. The place, the place of uh, there, right there with the blue, is this blue or green gate? You see it's been written A A A I. AIPCA Madare Church. So it's a church. So I don't want to imagine the situation when people want to go to church. I don't know if they have to cross all the way and access the church building or what. Because there's literally another church over there. It's written Outreach Hope Church. So it's a tricky situation right here. But again, something that might not be normal to you might be really normal to other people. Uh oh! 
Oh my god, he has just fallen down. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Alright guys, I've actually just seen something here really interesting and the kids are trying to follow me. I don't want to I don't want them to keep following me. So let me show you what's happening here with the bike. So these bikes are supposed to be rented. So you see? Somebody somebody who owns the bikes comes and um, you know a picture picture? Okay. You want a picture? Okay, sour. Okay. Okay, ready? Let me come so I can take with you. Ready? Okay. <laughs> ice ice. Okay, sawa, 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 sawa. Ningapi? Pangeni light bus. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't want to buy for everybody. So this is one of the most dangerous ghettos in Nairobi, Kenya, if not Africa, or should I say that's what is depicted in the media. <laughs> I expected that I'm gonna be met with a lot of violence and a lot of rowdy activities. Maybe a place that I wouldn't even have been able to access. Cause as you guys can see, I didn't come with um, any local. It was just me and a bunch of friends. But that's not what I was met with. Instead, I was met with a bunch of kids who were so happy and just willing to play and show me around. Well, I didn't even plan to include the kids in this video but this was so awesome man the only thing that went unplanned was the fact that now it was word on the street every person was told that oh there's somebody out here who is buying for us ice <laughs> and now all the kids were looking for me ice is a very common snack you people might know it as popsicle but right here it's called ice Whoever came up with the phrase, happiness is free, might just be right. Well, happiness was all over the little kid's face. Anyway, let's keep going. I came across this group of men playing a certain game and I was obviously intrigued. I decided to move closer and ask them how the game was going and what's the name of the game. They told me that this game is locally and popularly known as Ludo, whereby four different teams come together and start playing and the winner gets 400 Kenya shillings. Think about it as chess, just that there are four different opponents. So 400 shillings is about three dollars. So after spending a couple of hours here, you end up winning three dollars. I don't know if this game is common to your place. Let me know if you've seen something like this before. And if yes, how do you guys call it? Well, this is a very popular game and this helps to keep the men busy and also helps them to stay away from crime. Cause like they say, an idle mind is a what? Is the devil's workshop. Wow.
Okay, so that was called Ludo. Ludo. Okay, so Ludo, Ludo is a game that keeps them really busy. And right here, there's some snacks. Uh, can, can you wait? Can you wait? There's some snacks that are sold here. Yeah, so this one's a pipe. Stuff like that. I don't know how they're called in English. So, avocado. How much? 10 bob. 10 bob, one avocado. Hey, yeah. The price has gone up. <laughs> The price has gone up, so these ones are kales, vegetables. In yellow, I'm poking out the tongue, lady. Tongue, na. Munde kanyo avocado. She, she. You want to go avocado? So, this one is uh, kales. I don't know if you guys have this back home. This is called kales, but as we call it skuma wiki. So, skuma wiki is derived from the word pushing the week. Like you, you, we just have to push the week as we eat some greens and kale. So they are they are chopped in small, tiny pieces, like this. Yeah, and you buy them. And we also have avocado right here, and tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, so that's business at its best. Koro, I'm gonna buy avocado. Avocado, you, you watch is how much? So these ones are the onions that we have. They are called sp spring onions. They are the spring onions. As we don't have, is it kelions or kilions? We don't have them. This is what we have, the spring onions. So avocado is 10 10. Yes. But me, I'm not really an avocado. I'm an avocado person, but I don't want to eat avocado now. But Do you want avocado or later? Okay. You, you keep it. Or somebody else. Yeah. No, let's ju no, just leave. Please. Please. No, it's a lucky day. You yeah. keep it. Thank you very uh -uh. much. Now, right here, we have cereals. Are you the cereal lady? <laughs> Come and show me cereal that you have. Come. Then, okay. So these ones are, are different cereals are sold like this. There's beans here. Different beans. This is green grams. Yeah, stuff like that. This is rice. Hey, but this rice has stones. I'm what is this? Okay, no, it's not stone. And this is brown nut. So this is a, a cereal area. But this is fermented um, flour. I don't know if you guys have something like this. This is fermented flour that is used to cook porridge. But babies don't take this one because it's too harsh on their tummies. All right, and there is gas, so you buy gas and put it in your house. In London, you don't buy gas like this, mm -hmm. and and gas is placed outside of the house. Of the house, okay. yeah. Either yeah, they, most of them are outside or they or they or they are inbuilt, but it's not like this. All right, all right. So I am gonna try the fermented stuff I was telling you about. It's just technically um, flour. Fermented flour from either cassava or yeah, it's raining, so everybody has to run and go and seek shelter. It's suddenly raining over here, and now every this is chapati that Dil Mwango likes to cook all the time. Sasa mami, uh, it's chapati, and now it's raining. Everybody has to run, helter skelter, go and find somewhere safer. Ini nini, boga, buni oni kwa dani ni maindi. Okay, okay, so, so that, that is vegetables, so you can, oh, it's raining, oh my god, so <laughs> we have to find somewhere as well and um, hide, <laughs> because it's, it's raining, yes, oh, Asana. Okay, we're going to find somewhere and, and hide. As a traveler and a YouTuber, you have to be always prepared well some things you can never be prepared for it started raining and everybody just disappeared the streets became empty i didn't know what to do right now i was like should i stop the video and just go back home or what because now it's raining what am i gonna do until i spotted a group of boys or should i say a group of boys spotted me and one of the best thing happened like they say some of the most cherished moments are moments that are not planned these boys offered to give me a place to stay on can you believe it guys they were like it's okay we are from here 
we are going to stay on the other side as you stay on this other side and showcase how beautiful this place is funny enough they were listening to some reggae music and jamaican music i don't know if i told you guys jamaica has played such a big part and a big role in the african music there is literally some events that are organized purely for jamaican music and reggae hi guys hi so i'm posting this because i have jamaican fans yes. so i can say hi jamaica hi. so guys it's still raining and they've decided they're gonna teach me some moves and we, we hear a lot of jamaican music here and reggae so here we go yeah. so, let's go After the dancing, I asked them if they were okay with me buying for them some lunch or just giving them some money just to appreciate, like a token of appreciation. These guys were so happy and offered to teach me more dance moves. <laughs> It's literally raining, but it doesn't feel like it's raining, guys. Why? Because of how happy and how amazing these people are. They literally welcomed me the best way possible. And as a traveler, I have come to understand that at times what is portrayed in the media is often not the truth. Because you go there with your guards up and expecting to find really, really violent people and people who will just make your life a living hell. But that's not what you find. You end up finding some very, very friendly people who will teach you their ways, who will dance for you, who will show you different moves. So right here, they were like, take a picture with us. Take a picture with us. The guy in yellow was like, she doesn't have to give us money, guys guys, it's okay, just let her be. And I was like, no guys, I gotta buy for you at least something, at least some lunch. And right here, there was a different reggae music that came in. <laughs> And they just didn't want to stop dancing. Guys, let me know. When was the last time you met people who loved you like this? When was the last time you met people who do not know you but take you in like you are one of them? So I had to do a quick count so that I can be able to know and understand how much exactly I needed. There is something called M. Um, 
pesa m is mobile and pesa is money so that translates to mobile money so it's easy to have transactions even locally without having to go to the bank or having to go to a faraway place and then pesa agents are very common and popular in different places so right there where i am standing is an mpesa agent i went there to withdraw some money so that i can be able to buy them at least some lunch because guys guys look at this it was amazing i even forgot that it was raining wow all right guys so it's crazy raining and i've decided to buy the boys some lunch as soon as they got the money they went away they all ran away but <laughs> everybody just disappeared <laughs> they just disappeared like crazy anyway guys we are doing it for the love you know show you how life he is here so we found somewhere we can get we found somewhere we can at least um take a break and then, i don't know if you guys can hear but jamaican music is what is being played here like crazy so look at the situation man this is what i was saying okay the music is so loud anyways so when anytime it's raining we put um basins outside so that at least it can collect some water in case there is no water you can use this to drink shower wash utensils and what not so this is the drainage system this is how everything looks like just passing right across the houses and most of the houses are actually made of either the iron roofs the iron sheets corroded iron sheets or mud thatched house <laughs> i think is now everybody is trying to follow me but now it's raining go back home 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 sasa so now this one is chicken. Chicken. Oh, okay, okay. Ni mekumbuka ule ni likuja kanunu le watoto. Oh yeah, yeah. Basi ni well. So this is chicken intestine. She's getting ready and preparing to sell them later in the evening. Here we call them Mara. Yes. Yeah, Mara. And this one is chicken. The head. This is the head. Uh, yeah, so that's what goes on right there. This one's not other than that. Where is your home? Yeah. Okay. okay, she you wants to you want me to, 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 to get inside? Yes. Here or here? Yeah. Okay, so can I get in? Knock knock. Okay, let me get in. Let me remove my shoes. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna get in guys. So I've been welcomed home. Sorry, sorry mommy. I've been welcomed home. So this is the house. She's she has kindly welcomed me in the house where she lives. So there's a, a tiny little TV over there. But at least she can be able to get some news to watch when like what's going on in Kenya, you know, just to be updated. And there is a little bath over there. Is this my usual pig a shock, Jamani? Am I in solar? Are you in solar? Okay. This is this is solar. She has connected it so that she can at least get some electricity here. Hey, this is nice. So this is solar here. And you must have done like physics. How did you? Do hey, and there's also a heater. Wow. So there is a heater here. And then, yeah, that's technically. So, welcome home. Nico, ndakuwa mbaka kutukama 5, 5.40 ndakuwa. June takuwa tuwa because I've been training and I wanted to shoot. So I'll just have to sit somewhere and wait. Lazima ndaku promote. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Sasa ikribi yote ukiuza, unauza nga pasa ngapi? Eh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a total of 2000. Okay, so for a total of 2000. Okay, so for today I'm gonna buy everything, so I'll do 2000 for you. Okay, okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you just let me know. I'm gonna just let me know, so I'll send you the money. Okay, so you you okay. can get in here. You want me to get in where? Here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Enter. Knock, knock. Odi. Knock, knock. What happened? What happened? What happened? Odi, ma'am. Wame ni karibisha? 
Asante, Asante. Hey, so this is, we call this sufuria. This is how you know a real wife material. Are you seeing the way it's shiny? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. How many caribisha have you been? How many caribisha have you been? Caribisha, you have been on caribisha. Eh? Hey, this is really nice, ma'am. Wow. Hey, wife material. You can literally just eat from here. Look at how clean this is. So these are pots, but we call them sufuria that we use to cook. You babies! <laughs> Children! Asante san. Okay. Thank you for welcoming me in your house. Yes. Okay. Still, still raining. Yes, it does. So, we're gonna have to find somewhere else and sit because it's raining. It's raining, but all of these kids want me to get in their houses and just see the houses. So, it's the welcoming is just the same as the one in Jamaica. I'm still feeling at home just the way I was doing in Trench Town. The sun is finally out. We found somewhere to just um, sit and wait. I don't know if you guys can be able to see. Okay, it's right here. The sun is finally out. Anyways, so let me show you. So this is how electricity is connected. This is really dangerous. It's so risky because right here is just a live wire. But as, if you can see it, this goes and it's connected to this house. Then there's another one under here connected to the other house. And all of this are live wire so that's a little risky not even a little that's really 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 risky this is because mo most of the time most of the poor cannot be able to afford the, um, the electricity that is sold by the government so they, they cannot really afford the electricity that is sold by the government because in kenya what is is there is called tokens so it's prepay Yes, it's prepaid, right? Yes. So once you get your tokens, you use your electricity until it's done. And here, most people don't have that luxury. So instead, they have um, tycoons and cartels who are able to bring electricity down here at a, at a cheaper price. So a whole month, electricity is about 300 Kenya shillings. That's about $3. Yeah, that's about $3 a month. So you can do whatever you want with your electricity. And those who cannot actually still afford the $3 a month, end up using what we saw in the other house so this is another type of house guys this is mud thatched house and this is what i was asking the other time when i was with my uber driver bernard and i was asking him do you know of mud thatched house and he's like he has not seen a mud thatched house in jamaica so at times they also leak the roof is leaking so you see this place is dry and this other place is really wet so yeah the, ro the roof is leaking and it's it's actually quite dangerous because right here is leaking and right here is a live wire just here it's really risky really really risky look at my shoes Ooh. look at look at what the rain has done <laughs> this is what the rain has done to my shoes <laughs> but anyway it is what it is let's go let's keep going this is where the clothes are hanged. You remember guys I told you us we don't leave our pegs here. Because what happens when you leave your peg here, Shiro? They take. Uh -uh. You won't find it in Quick the and fast. Yeah. Quick and fast. Pegs the men are You see? It has already been taken as soon as possible. So once you're done with your pegs, you leave the, you don't leave them out. You take them and go back home. So, I'm gonna show you guys like a bathroom. This one right here is a bathroom. Let me knock and see. So it has been locked, but this is just for sure, just so that you can know that it's locked. But, it's... but this is the bathroom. This is how the bathroom looks like. There's a stone here that is used for shower. And this used for shower, the brush. Then you put your water right here or right here. And then the dirty water goes out like so okay so but now when you look at it like this you know it's locked but you and i know, know the thing <laughs> you know how the thing go you know so well that it's not locked that's just to to shake shake it off so these are now the wealthier people in the area 
because this house is stone is made of stones or how do you call it yeah stones stones and then there's also like a, a two like one story building i'm telling you very very rich if this person says i want to marry you let me tell you guys you see the way dimango says do you have a lamborghini here this one is the lamborghini if you say no i want your hand in marriage then this is my house the house of ah you found somebody asap quickly. quick and fast <laughs> Quickly, 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 quickly. So this upper part is um a, li a little bit wealthier. This is the drainage and this is still part of Madare. All right, guys, we are still going all the way down. I want to show you here the drainage and some water and some bridge. All right? Yeah. So, and just remember, if your house is made of stone, you are filthy. Just remember that. Okay. Remember, I told you guys we eat green mango. So these ones are ready for sale. That's why they are here. And I've been told this is the water that I need to use to wash it. So you go like this. You go like this. Nothing is green. This is ready. Very ready. See, and then there's this chili. That we use to eat it so you take the chili like this spread it so this is a mixture of chili flakes and salt mix it just like that just like that so oh my god i'm already hmm? mm -hmm. can i show my face so they can see me salivating hmm? so now this is very ready hmm you see, my friend also is enjoying herself. Can I be serious? Hmm. I will see mango in Jamaica and nobody was touching them because they're saying it's green. That they wait until they arrive. Not here. Remember I told you here you, you see a mango tree and you don't see mango. <laughs> This is the reason why. You are just going to be told that this is a mango tree, but you will not see any mango in it. Because we don't give them any chance to grow. As soon as we see something small hanging in there, take it to the market. Ten, ten, dong. Toma, ten, twenty. Thirty. Twenty percent. Hmm? Ah, so, this one is for Kenya. Actually, we are not selfish. We must get a test too. Of course. And actually, in Kenya, this is how we eat our mangoes. Yeah. Like the ripe ones, we don't find them as sweet and really, really. Appetizing no, we actually as find this them one. The problem is we are not we are not patient. We are not patient mm. to wait. Mm. I'll give me some chili. Alright guys, so I told you I'm gonna show you guys a bridge. Let me show you what happens. Where is my Diana? Where is my Diana? Where is my Diana? Mm. There's an about. Alright, there's a bridge right here. Hey, we're checking. Hey, you know what's going on? Pause. Hey, wait, she's in a TikTok. Ah, in a YouTube. Hey, 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 h
Oh, all of you. Yes. Every day. Yes. Or, or maybe once in a while. Yes. Iki jipa you come. Iki jipa ni ibo tu. But it's good, imagine. Hand yes. to mouth. Hand to mouth. <laughs> Ndugu wa lafujo, acha hizi Iki jipa Malize tu gani? Hii Nani ya tatupiga tapo? Uku chini? Pala hapo mepita ni atari 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 Ok, alright, they are just telling me I need to be very careful Because there is a lot of pocket snatchers and pick pocketers, yes. right? But it's just like any other person, Cindy, or any other place. Yes. So we are just praying that we are safe. Yeah, but that one is dangerous. It's dangerous. Oh, then let me go. Let me quickly run. Those ones, but I've said hi to them. Yeah. You gotta be really careful when you're crossing the bridge because it's made of wood. This is literally just wood, and one wrong move, and you're literally on the other end. You get it? Look at that. And at times, you can can, can you believe that at times it's the government that has made this? It's crazy. Look, and this is a toilet. So once they're done using the toilet, goes all the way here, and the people still use this water to shower. Thank you. I if you thought the last bridge was dangerous, think again. I came across this bridge and coincidentally met children. Imagine there are kids who have to brave and use this bridge every single day when they are going to school. Think about it like this. Kids are kids. They are clumsy. They like to play. And this might result to accidents. I talked to the locals here and they told me at times when it rains, it becomes really flooded and the number of bodies they collect here is alarming because this bridge is risky and dangerous. This goes without saying. I mean, look at this guy trying to survive, trying to make the ends meet. He collects plastics and sells them. I got a chance to talk and interact with the boys, specifically the boys area. They are called the area boys and they were so pained and bitter. They explained to me how it's very risky to cross this bridge every single day, specifically the old people and the kids. It is indeed their hope that one day this situation will change. But all in all, we thank God and we have to keep it moving. Let me know, guys. So far, so good. What do you think about this video? Hi, guys. Okay, Peter. Okay, alrighty, guys. We've come to the end of this amazing, amazing video. And this was just for educational purposes, not to compare in any way whatsoever, just to show you guys the difference and the similarities. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. And also, please, if you have seen anything that is different, point it out in the comment section. If you've seen something that is very similar to back home, also point it out in the comment section, guys. Until next time, I love you guys. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And before I forget, guys, I officially now have um, memberships. So if you want to be a member of my YouTube channel and get stickers, so anytime you leave a comment, it's gonna be written, member has subscribed. So and so is a member, is an official member to Sean Arrow's channel. Just tap there and become a member. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye. Say bye. Okay, wait. Say bye. Bye.